Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Tennessee Volunteers and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Tonight, we've got an interesting matchup of the power forward spot. Number 21 makes it clear who's the leader out there. On the other side, we've also got a great leader out on the floor. This will be a great matchup to track throughout the night. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The Tar Heels are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. Number one, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Next, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And he'll kick it back outside. He up fakes. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Both teams looking to get things going here. With the block. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. The center receives the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Oliveira handles the feed on the outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Scorches the net. They're working around the perimeter. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. With a quarterback pass. For the bucket, he is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Trying to feed the low block. For two, perfectly executed. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Working it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. He gets that one to fall. They go into the low block. Fields, pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now trying to feed the low block. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. The Tar Heels have a three-point shooter spotting up. Fakes a jumper. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. Way off target. Garrison is feeling good. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Up 
High post flashes. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Down inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Trying to draw some contact. The lay-in. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. A lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Number 22 is called for the foul. First team foul. Turn around jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They're working around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here they go into transition. Goes up for two. <laughs> on the inside. There's the trap. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Tries for two. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. Crowdy's on fire. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. Takes away the pass. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. There's the screen up on top. On the dribble, gives it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. That's basic. Field draws the personal. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. The volunteers will step to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. He's got an open look for the shot. He's got a high post flasher. Garrison receives the pass. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He'll visit the charity strike. It goes in. into transition. There's the pick. 
from the top of the circle. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Makes it. Tries a three. Sinks it. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Number 22 is whistled for the foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, before the game, both coaches and players said they were looking forward to tonight's matchup. Whose weaknesses will be exposed and who will really step up? Guys? Thanks, Aaron. He drains the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. North Carolina have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Robs him of the ball. Transition opportunity coming up. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of play. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Got the high pick. He shoots from the baseline. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Dump it inside. Number 22 handles the pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. In the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Both teams looking to get things going here. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He makes a nice shot fake. Wide open for the shot. He tries to knock down the three. Strains the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Way off target. Pump fakes. Pushing that basketball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. They come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Looking for the foul. There was no doubt about that one.
That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He takes a three off the rim and no good. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Moving it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 14 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon, NBN. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Now they'll play the human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Way off target. The skip pass is picked off. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals a pass. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Comes defensively on him on the low block. It, I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Top of the circle, way off target. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Shoots it. Makes the shot. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Blocks it. And the ball goes out of bounds. And they get the turnover. Double team now, bad angle. There's the fake. Blocks the shot. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. Looks at a three. Goes. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. off the lazy pass. Entry pass in the paint. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They have to that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And he scores it off the glass. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Up fake. Up and inside. From three-point range. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the arc. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Intercepted. Pushes it up for two. The land. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respects that were saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Shot clock is dead. On the outside, got an open look if he wants it. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dump it inside. He wants a three. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. At the end of the first half, the Tar Heels lead by 14. North Carolina 
is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. I tell you, there's no doubt they're PT peers. They're prime time performers. They like the big moment, and they make big plays. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And a momentary look from three-point land. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Working it around the perimeter. High post screen. He lets it go. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Tries for two. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. Like that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Picked off. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They're rocking right now. My goodness. For the bucket. And off the mark. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? There's a double team waiting there. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. He fires it up. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Fakes the shot. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Picked out of the air. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets the rejection. They go 
the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He takes the rebound. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Arm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first. And he got them both. They'll work it around the arc. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. Dig, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brown. From the top of the key, way off target. The ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the ball handler. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. Garrison makes a great move to draw the foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Got it from the free throw line. The Volunteers are trailing by 14. target. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish first position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. to get the D to bite. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact ground on the defensive player. They work it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great shot. We'll get a better look on the replay. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. The lane. The Tar Heels are up by 18. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. away the pass. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. And he
he scores despite the hack. Moving it around the perimeter. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. Look at that spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. Fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The double team couldn't get there. That's not how these boys practice that. On the outside. From three-point land. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Randy's on fire. There they come with a double team to stop it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. It sticks. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? He goes with a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. Jumps in, and he scores it off the glass. again here's Aaron Andrews Brad and Dick not too many differences between these two players seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor this now could come down to which team is stronger thanks Aaron <laughs> he goes to the free throw line he gets it to go they're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. They work the perimeter. Got some room. Stop and pop. Tennessee have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Tries one from three-point land. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. The 
up and inside. Gave it up in the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Takes the shot. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. The ball goes out of bounds. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And it's blocked. Long lead pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For two, they still don't score. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Intercepted. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important. Up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Takes it off him. Now in transition, trying to score the other way. Tennessee are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Welch receives the ball. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. At this point in the game, rock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win. I guarantee it. He takes the board. Takes the pass in the paint. Fields pounded on his way up. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. With the free throw. First shot, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Sinks both of them. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Dumps it in. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from left of the circle. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby! And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Drops the bucket despite the harm. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. Picks off the pass. Cross court. For two, with the layup. He intercepts it. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. 
The Tar Heels are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Great defense. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. Got the shot if he wants it. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Trying to draw the foul. Tennessee have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. He hits it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jumped in front to take it away. Holmes receives the pass. Picked off. The center with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. There's a double team waiting there. And now getting back the other way on the break. Tries for two. Takes away the pass. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Tennessee are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and see if they can force a timeout. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. On the outside, picks off the lazy pass. He blocks the shot. He pushes it hard up the court. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line. Makes the foul shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes the second. That line is really being good to them tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Nice high post screen. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He takes it away. He's trying to see if there's an easy one out there. I don't know what I enjoyed more, Brad. The Thunder watching the mascot. What a reaction. He's really into it. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. 
That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. He steps up to the line. Doesn't go. Time to talk it over. We've got a timeout. for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Hey, they keep playing and continue to do what's gotten them this far, Brad. Can't change now. From downtown, Garrison is carrying his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, welcoming shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. No doubt about it. It's a two-possession game if they can score here. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep falling. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Second one is good. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Gets his first. Gets the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He lets it fly. No good. The point guard gets the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. The small forward takes the feed. Dick, we know the TV business. You've got to have marquee matchups, but it's still about team basketball. I'll tell you one thing. The team has really responded as a unit, and they're taking advantage of the abilities of their stars. North Carolina fought the good fight, but they still come up short. It's always tough to lose to a team that you know you can beat. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.